Despite TUC back down, Nigeria workers comply with NLC strike on day one. President Bola Tinubu arrives in India ahead of G20 business summit. Also, Lagos State Governor Babaji De Somwolu visits hospital, promises to take over bills of a 13-year-old boy with no intestine. Good evening, welcome to NTJ Body News at 7. I'm Aralua Eguna, and here are the details of the news. Workers loyal to the Nigeria Labour Congress stayed away from work this Tuesday in compliance with the directive of the Industrial Union to embark on two days' warning strike. Amarachuku Omeka, who, was around, who went around Abuja to monitor the situation, has this report. Not satisfied with just issuing directives for workers to Dantu for two days in protest over full subsidy removal, Officials of the Nigerian Labour Congress went round to ensure full compliance. We are not here fighting for ourselves, but it's a collective responsibility. And all of us must be responsibly responsible. But we are here to give the information. As civil servants, that all of us should go home. Please let's stay back home today and tomorrow. Let us watch and see. It's just for two days. And I mean, the policemen came early. They came and they've been trying to, to keep the place orderly. Initially, we had some traffic because we kept. We had to ask um, for identification so we could know who to send back and who to let in. But immediately, we were able to clear the traffic. Everything has been going seamlessly. Offices in many parts of the FCT remained closed as workers stayed away. While workers affiliated to NLC stayed away from work, those allied to the Trade Union Congress were on active duties. In Abuja. Ubinka, Rajku, NTA News. Meanwhile, the Minister of Labour and Employment, Simon Bako Lalang, has met with the leadership of the Trade Union Congress, TUC, on Monday to appeal to organise labour not to embark on the, on the warning strike. The meeting was behind closed doors at the Ministry of Labour and Employment. The federal government and TUC had agreed on two weeks' deadline to address pending issues TUC is to consult with NAC for further action. However, Nigeria Labour Congress did not show up. Two of our main demands was that um, the president has not pronounced anything relating to wage awards. Again, we also need to be pragmatic. As uh, this week, as we know, the president is outside the country and will be returning maybe sometime weekend or early next week. And that, uh, I mean, further than the council meeting will be held next week where some presentations will be made. And that they would, the most reasonable time for them to get back to us is two weeks. Those issues that we discussed, there are some that are very urgent. There are others that will require a long span of time. And this was the basis of our discussion. And we all agreed to that there will be no uh, strike between at this period. Despite the agreement, the organized labor has gone ahead with the industrial action. To so other news now, President Bola Tinubu arrives in New Delhi, India to attend G20 summit on the special invitation of India's Prime Minister, Dharama Modi. The Nigerian 001 presidential air fleet landed in New Delhi at about half past 6 p.m. local time. The president's itinerary in India will include bilateral meetings with a cross-section of world leaders from four different continents representing both G20 and non-G20 countries. These engagements are geared towards strengthening bilateral economic trade and investment partnership for mutual benefits. On the sidelines of the summit, the president will participate in and deliver keynote addresses at both the Nigeria-India Presidential Roundtable and the Nigeria-India Business Conference. The CEO Roundtable will be attended by a leading industrialist in the Indian private sector, Nigerian industrialists, as well as senior government officials from both countries. The president aims to leverage this platform to attract global capital and promote increased foreign direct investment in key labor-intensive sectors of Nigeria's economy for job creation and revenue expansion. He will also use the opportunity to highlight Nigeria's attractiveness as an investment destination, 
specifically outlining his cross-sectoral reform plan as encapsulated by the renewed hope agenda. President Tinubu is to return immediately after the conclusion of the summit. Federal government has restated commitment to implement policies that will grow the economy with clear vision to reduce poverty and other challenges. Vice President Kashim Shetima stated this at the 16th anniversary annual banking and finance conference in Abuja. State House correspondent Abdurrahman Jubi. Seated here are managers of Nigeria's financial institutions brainstorming to provide a structural transformation for national growth, Nigeria's economic growth and empowerment. The role of the financial services industry is the theme of the two-day conference resonating towards addressing the economic challenges. Now I must announce with pride that our divisions are already yielding tangible results with boards, states, and federal governments now enjoy more substantial allocations. These funds form a direct and positive impact on the lives of our citizens. Without the seriously unaccounted fuel subsidies, we can now redirect our savings towards more deserving courses. We envision a future where nearly that car is hot to the tired excuse of scarcity of funds to evade completion of projects or delayed salary payments. Nigeria is cutting a story where the welfare of our people takes precedence and financial accountability reigns supreme. The economic revival plan is on course, prioritizing rule of law, agriculture, poverty reduction, and other areas. Vice President Shatima said government is not leaving behind. The reforms are intended, among others, to give the private sector all the necessary confidence to mobilize and invest more resources in what is no doubt an economy with one of the world's strongest absorptive capacity. We would be excited to offer our professional insights and make submissions in the budget and planning given the quality and array of thought leaders within our fold. If this is an opportunity for um, us to share some of our take on what it would take for Nigeria to achieve that potential. Coming at it not from the kind of inside perspective that all of you certainly have. The federal government is also using some financial institutions in the digital market space by providing support, fostering an enabling environment and improving access for the micro, small and medium enterprises with single digit loan. In Abuja, Abraham Jibrila, NTA News. Now Governor Sonwolu Babajide has taken over the medical care of 13-year-old boy Adebola Akim Smith, who is grappling with missing small intestines at the Lagos University Teaching Hospital. The governor announced the intervention when he paid on scheduled visit to the pediatric ward of the State University State University Teaching Hospital in Lagos. Musa Toli has the details. How did that happen? When did the small intestine got missing? And that is the question I've been asking as a mother since 17th of July up to this present moment. The passionate plea by Deborah Abiodun, mother of 13-year-old Adebola, who is under intensive care at the Lagos State University Teaching Hospital due to missing small intestine, necessitated the visit to the hospital by Governor Babajide Songwulu. Debola is, is a very strong boy. He has strong will to leave, okay, Mr. Governor. Please help me. That's why I, I'm, not, I'm not trying to blackmail anybody. Getting a brief from the consultant pediatrician at the hospital was necessary. The child has been losing weight because when somebody doesn't eat progressively, you still have muscle storage, fat storage in the intestine. So that this child still does not have intestine and the child is alive. So that story that, oh, how can the child have remained alive without? Having listened with rapt attention, the governor pledged to take over Adebola's medical care and also pulled all medical expertise from Lassut and other resources to save the boy's life. Governor Sonwulu's motivational chat with young Adebola gave a glimmer of hope that the 13-year-old would get back on his feet. Adebola, how are you? I'm here. 
I'm going to do everything to make you get well. Okay? So, but I want you to be strong. I want you to be strong. It's going to be difficult, but I want you to be strong. Don't give up. God helping us to make sure that you get well. Amen. Okay? Amen. So don't give up. Okay? Thank you. Okay. In Lagos, Musa Toliad, NTA News. The United Arab Emirates has announced a $4.5 billion in clean energy investment in Africa. Charles Alpha reports that this came to the fore at a landmark climate summit aimed at attracting funding to combat global warming. Search for huge climate investment at the ongoing Africa Climate Summit is already yielding results. A $4.5 billion investment by the United Arab Emirates to jumpstart a pipeline for profitable clean energy projects on the continent was viewed by many as a very important step in realizing the summit's aims and objectives. Head of the government-owned renewable energy firm, Mazdar, the United National Oil Company, ADNOC, and the COP28 climate talks, Sultan Al Jaba, gave Africa hope by this announcement at the summit. The investment is aimed at developing 15 gigawatts of clean power by 2030 and catalyze at least an additional $12.5 billion from multilateral public and private sources. It is our ambition that this will launch a new transformative partnership to jumpstart a pipeline of bankable clean energy projects in this very important continent. As of 2022, Africa's renewable generation capacity was 56 gigawatts. The urge here is for institutions to lower debt burdens. Countries in Africa are restricted by mounting debt costs and the dirt of finance, despite an abundance of natural resources. Just 3% of energy investments worldwide are made in the continent. Renewable energy could be the African miracle, but we must make it happen. We must all work together for Africa to become a renewable energy superpower. The three-day event in Nairobi, which began Monday, is built to bring together African leaders to define a shared vision for green development on the diverse continent of 1.4 billion people. Charles Alf. We'll be going on a short break. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. government is set to collaborate with the family of late Pataiwo Akeomi, designer of the Nigerian flag who died recently for a befitting burial. Minister of Information and National Orientation Mohamed Idris Malagi started this when he paid a condolence visit to the family of the deceased in Ibadan, the Oyo state capital. Correspondent Ayomiko Ajibola reports that the minister also paid a visit to Oyo state governor Sheyi Makinde. Following the announcement of the death of Pa Taiwo Akikumi Oefaru, the man who designed Nigeria's flag, the nation has been thrown into mourning. This high power federal government delegation, led by the Minister of Information and National Orientation, Mohammed Idris, were in Ibadan to condole with the family of the late icon. Uh, no doubt he has been uh, such a powerful and iconic symbol for our national unity and for our existence as a country. Uh, I also want to take this liberty to ask the youth of Nigeria to emulate uh, what Pa Kim Kumi uh, did for this country. When the national flag was designed, he was only in his 20s. Uh, by God's grace, he lived uh, more than 60 years afterwards, and the flag is still flying. Earlier, the minister had paid a courtesy visit on the estate governor, who described the death of Pa Akikumi 
as the end of an era for creative national heroes and heroines of your state extraction. And the flag of Nigeria must always remind us of the need for unity and cohesion. We all know that Mr. Atumumi is one of those who created this national figure for us. And Mr. President is proud of this left gentleman who happens to come from Boyo State. Among the entourage of the minister are top functionaries of the Federal Ministry of Information and National Orientation, including heads of various federal government media agencies in Ibadan. Among who is the Zona Director, NTA Ibadan Center, Wahid Upola, in Ibadan, Ayomiku Ajibola. In its bid to fortify security, architecture, and forestall any breakdown of law and order across the country, as a result of the forthcoming presidential election petition tribunal judgments scheduled to be passed tomorrow, the Nigerian police force has strengthened its deployment across the length and breadth of Nigeria. A statement by the first public relations officer, Olumiwa Adejobi, the Nigerian police force has diligently emplaced all necessary deployment and security measures during this critical period, as officers and men are fully prepared to maintain order and enforce laws while respecting the rights and freedoms of all citizens. The statement added that the Nigerian police strongly cautions all individuals, including mischief makers and policy gladiators, to be cautious in their actions and statements as the force will not condone activities capable of inciting violence or causing a descent into anarchy. The police, however, advised all citizens to embrace peace and maintain calmness, regardless of their political affiliations, to ensure a peaceful and secure environment. Operatives of the Federal Road Safety Corps, Moway Unit Command, in conjunction with Traffic Compliance and Enforcement Corps Trace, have rescued six persons in an accident that occurred on Lagos Ibadan Expressway around Christopher University. A statement by the FRC Gov Ogun State Command's Public Education Officer, Florence Okwe, the crash which occurred at about 11.30 of Tuesday morning involving a vehicle with registration number GAS 937XA Toyota Hayes. The statement indicated that a total of 10 persons were involved, comprised of seven males and three females, all adults. Eight persons, which involved six males and two females, were injured, while two, a male and a female, died from the crash. The incident, which was a lone accident, suspected to have been occurred as a result of wrongful overtaking on the part of the Toyota driver which in process rammed into a station vehicle coupled with excessive speeding. The injured victims were taken to Farmerby's hospital while the cops were deposited at Idera Mortuary. Commiserating with the family of the victims, the sector commander, Anthony Uga, cautioned motorists on excessive speed and poor judgment on overtaking. That's all we have for you tonight on NTJ Bode News, but before we leave, let's take a look at our major stories once again. Earlier on, we told you that despite TUC's back down, Nigeria workers comply with NFC strike on day one. President Bola Tinubu arrives in India ahead of G20 business summit. Lastly, Lagos State Governor Babajide Sawolu visits hospital, promises to take over bills of a 13-year-old boy with no intestines. Amorolu wa Egona, have a good day.
keji are orile ede yi ka si mu se ti ma ti gbe imulo abadofin bi oro aje ati oko yo se ma buro kesi nile Nigeria awon olugbe owa kurudu mayo mayo ati makalewu ti rawo ebe si ijoba apapo lati ba won risi oro koto giriwu ti omi yale ogbara ya shobu dale ni ilu ijebode e kale aku ataro idowu ogunbajo ni oruko temi egbo iroyin na ni ekurere si ijoba apapo ti je odi mimo lori abadofin lori eyi ti o gbe lori bi oro aje ti o gberu ati oko wo wa nile nigeria yo se burekesi ni eyi ti yo se ni eyi ti o le osidanu ati awon nkan omiran ti o nkoju wa ni ile nigeria i gba keji are ka si muse tima sore yi ni bi apero olodun kerin dilogun ti awon ile ifo pamosi ati onisuna owo gbe kale ni abuja akoro yin wa ni ile ijoba abdurrahman jibrila ni o ni iroyin yi awon olugbe owa kurudu mayo mayo ati makalewu ni ilu ijebode ni o ti ke gbajare lori inufu ayafu ti awon koju latari omi yale agbara ya shobu ti o pada di kotogiriwu ni adugbo na ni eyi ti o je ki won ma padanu duki awon ati emi onure oyin wa antoni gandonu ti o ba won wa nibe so pe lara iwaju ile omiran ni awon agbegbe yi ni omi yale agbara ya shobu yi faya eyi ti o si je ki kotogiriwu o wa kaakiri awon adugbo na egbo ekun rere iroyin si niwaju ko si ani ani ewu to wa ninu omi yale ogbara ya shobu ti nje idina fun awon ohun amaye de run wa bi ona ile ati awon oko ti awon agbe wa tin sogbin papa julo kaakiri gbogbo agbegbe to si je ipinija to tobi fun won ni eyi ti o je ki ijoba o tete mojuto ni fona fonsu wa yi o omi yale ogbara ya shobu to wa ni agbegbe owa kurudu ati makalewu ni ilu ijebu ode odede waye biko se aipari ise koto idominu ti ijoba anoshiti lati odun 2008 nigba ti awon olugbe makalewu ati mayo mayo on fe onu won 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 je odi mimo wi pe ikuna lati se koto idominu pari ti ijoba ana iyen ni odun 2008 ni ofa ti omi yale ogbara ya shobu fi kolu won won ke irora ni tigidigan ni nipa emi ati dukiya ti awon sofo lodo odun awon lanlo to ti ku to ri kini wa imejo ni won e se fufun payos debo em sunday ogunjirin em mo gba gbe awon baba to wa ladugo ita ba debe nsin ma bere oruko won ma so ma so gbugbu e fun ni se na ro nuku o ki se pe kini lo ye pa won o but won se ise ton se laaro ojo won mo wo pe se awon ma pada si lieutenant abi family house town ti kuro la ma tun wa pada si inu ro ni yen inu yen in be no kusi ta gbe yen ti koja be adabuja ko si bi ta de adabu abekuta lai mo yodun won bo won bo won bo won ti dido ni nigba ye former governor daniel agbegbe se nigba ye baba wa musu agbegbe se nigba ti dapo tun wa be tun je governor wa ti ni be na la tun la nlo la nbo won bo won bo na ni irun kan bayi na tun sele si awon olugbe makalewu ni ilu ijebu ode latari koto idominu ti won ni won dari si adugbo won lati papa isere otun ba depo dina ni eyi ti o si je ki won o gbadun ara won nigba ti oju ba de ri omi ojo to ma ro yi won fi njaba lo le gan tori pe won ti mo bi pe ti ojo yen ba ti bere si ni ro ta ba paru o le o le won o le ri bi soda wa ni tori pe gbogbo ona ona fi n sise yen en fun won to de je pe a de ri wi pe nkan to nro yi emi won o gbe mo ati ati soro ati paru ati se gbogbo a de ti be won pe kon jo kon wa ba wa se ni tori na a ro won kon jo tori olorun lati igba ti lati 2018 yen ati ri nkan kan di si yin lo awon olugbe ti oro kan yi so pe gbogbo pa awon lati ke si ijoba ipinle ogun labe awon alakoso awon to ri si nkan pajawiri sema ati ijoba apapo labe akoso awon nema 
ati ile ise won wi pe ki won da kun dabo ki won tete ba won risi oro omi yale ogbara ya shogbu yi pabunu ja si won wa ra wo ebe si awon adari ati alase wa ti o wa lori ijoba ki won da kun dabo ba wa risi koto girewu ti omi yale ogbara ya shogbu dale nipa pepari ise koto idominu na ja si odu owa gbangba won ti ro awon omo orilede nigeria lati mu ireti won wa laaye ki won si gbaruku tita ireti won ji ti ijoba ti o nlo lowo lowo bi o ti le je wi pe yo ni ra die ki won to le se atunse yi tan pelu bi gbogbo e se riririrudu tele ni orile ede yi nigbati awon alejo lori eto owuro wa iyen good morning nigeria nsoro yi lori ogorun ojo ti are bola tinu nbu ti lo lori oye won yana na awon ipinu ati igbese ti ijoba igbe laarin ogorun ojo lori isijoba Dennis Tempu ni akoro yin wa to ba won wa ni be ijoba apapo ti se ton lati fowo fowo sowo sowo po pelu ebi ologbe pa taiwo akin kun mi eni ti o ya asia orile ede nigeria ti o papo da ni ko pe ko pe yi fun isiku to joju ati eyi to pe ye minister fun iroyin ati ilani loye muhammad idris malagi ni o so yi di mimo nigbati o ba awon ebi ologbe na lalejo ni ibadan ni ipinle oyo akoro yin wa ayo meku ajibola jabo wi pe minister na tun be gomina ipinle oyo se yi makindewo ni office won awon osise ijoba apapo to nri si ewu opopo na frc eyi ti o wa ni eka mowe pelu awon osise ijoba eyi ti o nri si sunkere fakere ni ipinle ogun trace ni won ti do la emi awon eni mefa ninu ijamba oko eyi ti o waye ni agbegbe christopher university ni opopo na ibadan si eku ogagba awon frc eyi ti o wa ni ipinle ogun florence ope so yi di mimo wi pe ijamba oko yi waye ni nkan bi agogo mokanla owuro ojo segun pelu oko toyota ti o nka ti o nbe lara re je gas 93 xa won je o di mimo wi pe awon mewa ototo ni o wa ninu ijamba oko yi okunrin meta obirin meje ti gbogbo won si je agbalagba awon mejo ti okunrin ti okunrin je mefa ti obirin je meji ni o wa ninu ijamba oko yi okunrin kan ati obirin kan ni o ba ijamba oko yi lo ijamba oko yi ni awon ojumito ti nje o di mimo wi pe ko si okoko kan ti o ba ti o ba afori gbari bi pe oko yi nikan ni o se ara re ni jamba yi o wa yi nwa ye latari ere asaju asapajude abi fifi ti pa ti pa koja lara oko ti o wa ni waju re ki amosa ni won ti ko awon to farapa ninu ijamba oko yi lo si ile iwosan famo bis ti won si ko awon meji toku toku sinu ijamba oko yi lo si bi igboku si nigbati won kedun awon toku yi ti won si ti ti won si ntu awon mo lebi won lokan ogagba antoni oga se kilokilo fun awon awako lori ere asapajude ati fifite pa te pa koja lara oko to wa ni waju won gomina ipinle kwara abdurrahman abdurrasak ti se ibura wole fun awon ibimo metadilogun ni eyi ti won yo jo ma se ijoba ni ipinle kwara gomina tun yan omo ba mahil abdukadri gare bi akowe ipinle na o wa ra gbogbo awon igbimo ti won sese bura wole wi pe tori koledun koleda ni won fi yan won sipo ki oni kaluku won o di ipo won mu ki won si ri wi pe awon sise to ba ilana ati idagbasope ipinle kwara lo abdul hafiz alaya ni oniroyin to ba won wa ni be ni bi ni o ti ma danu duro ni ti iroyin fun ta le to ni e ma gbagbe lati tele wa ni oju opo wa facebook nti ijebu ode idowu ogun bajo loruko temi o daro